All right, and let's transition to one of my favorite segments, Rick's Corner. And back with us for a second time, we have Sherilyn as a special guest. Uh, Rick's Corner is a place where simple solutions uh, for common questions get answered. And in today's segment, you guys are going to be talking about the keyword auto-suggest settings. I think it's one of the settings that go um, overlooked. I don't think you need to edit them quite often, but there are cases when... uh, our users will want to edit the auto suggest settings, but um, I'll pass it over to you guys if you can let us know what are the keyword auto suggest settings in the first place. Thank you very much, Jason. I'm also super happy to introduce Sherilyn again. So welcome, Sherilyn. Super happy to have you here. So as as Jason was saying, uh, we're going to be talking today about the keyword auto suggest. Uh, also. Uh, it, like like he just said, um, most of us don't really have to play around with those settings, but it's very useful to know that it is indeed something that we can control, right? Um, Sherilyn, would you mind showing us what the uh, auto suggest actually looks like? So the auto suggest is just this fun tool we have. If you're part of the VIP add-ons, where the members just start typing in, and the results pop up for them. You know, they can see everything you have. Um, and it works for this module as well, for example. So it works on both homepage modules. Nice, on the search modules, perfect. Correct. Now, the yeah, we're basically going to be talking about that module that shows up there. Um, mm-hmm. So excellent. There, there are a few settings that are very easy to control, fortunately, right? I remember a time when it wasn't that easy. Um, but fortunately, it is super easy now. Um, so what are some of those settings? Like, can I control and some of the information that gets hidden from the members? Can I control like the image, for example, if it shows up or not? Would you mind showing us a little bit more about that? Of course, yeah, you can actually control um, quite a few things. You can find the auto suggest settings within the developers menu. So we go into developers. the developers, correct? And this one's not very used very often, um, but it's got some good things in here. So we go to the auto suggest settings, Nice. And here we'll notice we have um, quite a few different options for which ones we're going to use. But in this case, we are going to be using the keyword search, which falls under the member search. All right. So basically meaning that this is the setting that we're going to be editing today is going to control searches for members pretty much, right? Correct. Yes. And uh, once we go inside, I can show you a little more about what else you can add to it. So we're going to go ahead and click on edit. So open up a new little window. And then as you see, there's already a couple different things we can look through just right off the bat. Um, I suggest not changing any of the rule variables or the class or ID. You know, these these come prepared and set ready to work. um, And it's best just to leave them alone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't want to switch that to an ID. We can keep it as a class. Um, And then underneath that, what we have are some of those useful settings, right, that we were talking about before. Correct. This is where the fun starts. Um, so <laughs> yeah, exactly. we can just go right down the list, um, starting off with the enabling auto suggestion after how many characters. So this basically just controls. Um, if we come here, you'll see that after the second character, everything starts to show up. You can always make that longer, shorter, make it just to one letter. Um, here we can switch it. Show you guys real fast for. Save these and then let's do the maximum auto suggest limit as well. Because as we can see now, it's just, right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's shorten that up. Let's say five. As you can see here, it's the maximum number of suggestions to display. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't want to overdo it either, right? It could be confusing. Mm-hmm. It, it loses all sense of, of helpfulness to the user, so it becomes cumbersome. All right, so exactly. keeping it simple, nice. Especially if you have a lot of keywords, for example, like if, you know, these two letters will just bring up more results than you want. You want the client or the customer to be a little more specific in what they're looking for. So it narrows down what they'll be searching for. And as you can see, it's um, it works. If you do two, three, it's nothing's going to show up. Let me refresh. Let's see. Right. And some of those. That we have there, I noticed that you scroll down to to the enable main categories and enable subcategory section, um, and it's also turned on, meaning that it's also going to be using those modules on that that auto-suggest module that shows up on the front end. 
Correct. Yeah, you can add those, and typically the main categories go great underneath the member search. Mm -hmm. um, you can also enable events, you know, all of these things. But they each have their own search module that you can pick to display. So um, it's Got really it. not necessary to enable those with the listings. That's why you have all these other options, you know, photo search, blog search, and then you can edit those settings within them. Right. So like with, a, with uh, the video search, you only want it to suggest video results. But you don't want to mix um, coupon results with the video results with the auto suggestions. Exactly. It'll just confuse, you know, the customer on the website. Right. They'll be clicking on something, thinking it's a video. It's not. Um, it's just better to keep it pretty streamlined. Um, and then, see, once we get inside each of the modules, this is where, you know, you have a lot of freedom to do a lot of things, too. For example, um, if we go here, it's design. You know, for now, it's just saying listings. But we can add our own custom, custom header. So let's do profiles. Let's see these changes. That's so awesome. You can even add um, specific keywords probably that that also becomes handy if you're worried about your SEO, right? If you want to add additional information there, that, that also that's also tailored to your own website. So I see how how that's extremely useful. Let's refresh this. Let me check it out. And now I just changed it over to profiles. So you can, you know, if you're using listings, businesses, um, if you're working within a specific community for uh, for sports, you can change that to, you know, soccer players, for example. So it, it, you can really make it fit your site. You know, we did this. We actually did a, a small segment on this on one of the website showcases, and it was for uh, study abroad programs, and those were the, the categories. So instead of saying subcategories, it said st study abroad programs because those were the, the different category names. So, yeah, there's lots of uses to change the headings of those sections. Very nice. Yeah, and then um, here we can see, you know, it's showing up three profiles. That's the limit at the moment. You can see over here, one, two, three. So we can always change that, make it show five. Um, right now they're not showing the photos, but we can always go ahead and change that over. I don't think any of these members have photos right now, but we can just kind of see what that looks like. You can also hide the header. So if you don't want it to say profiles or listings, you can hide that here as well. Since we just went over that, let me just show you guys. I was going to say it looks like a big confusing grid, but if you're working in each in each one in, in each area one by one, you, you you do feel like you have the control that you need. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's about just taking your time, sitting down, looking at it one thing at a time. Um, and let's see now the header's gone. We have five member results, and it just depends on what you know you're looking for. The set. I I prefer the header to display. Um, I think it just really makes it organized so the member knows what they're looking at. Um, location, we can always remove that. Some people, you know, depending on the directory you have, you may not want it to show. So right in San Diego, California, if we refresh this. All right, some some sites, the location is not relevant um, when you're looking at exactly, a member yeah. listing. All right. Let's see, let's see it's gone. You don't really need it if you're working with like um, nationwide companies. If it's you know serves the entire country, a city is really not necessary in that kind of situation. So go ahead, turn this back on, and then this I think the link one is one of the most important ones for people to know about. And I'll go ahead and show you why. So right now, when we have these profiles, we're looking at this, and the link is enabled. Um, and this is specifically important if you're also doing a location search with these auto suggest rules. Because right now, let's say you want to do a search for the design pavilion in Beverly Hills. So if you are, okay, oh, here's the website, here's the profile I need. Once you click on it, it automatically redirects you. So you're not even able to enter in the location you want. So Sorry. when the, the link is set to yes, whatever's mm -hmm. being auto suggested, if you click on it, it's going to take you to that page automatically. Exactly. Yes, it'll just redirect you to whatever profile, subcategory, or you know, gotcha. Listing. Exactly. So 
that works if you only have the keyword search. But if you want to include the location, I suggest you remove that because that way your customers can enter in both fields without, you know, the frustration of what happened, why am I here, I didn't get to enter my location. Yeah, I see how that could be confusing for some people. Now, again, the the most important part here is to know what you can control and how easy it is. Uh, again, just to go through the settings and basically turn them on or off. Um, a lot of a lot of the decisions that come at this point are really based on the on your user, right? On the website's user. So if you're getting a lot of feedback from the user, like, hey, I don't really understand how to navigate. This is one of the times when you can sit down, go through those settings, test different approaches and see which one works better, right? Yeah, exactly. And, you know, you can always email support. We'd be happy to help you, point you around, you know, where to find this information, how to do it. So, for example, now let's say we were looking for. Now you can click on it. It'll still pull it up, and you can add in a, a location. At the moment, we don't have Google Maps set up, but normally you just would come in, type in, and then you can actually complete the search this way. Um, if you have the link enabled, you don't really you don't need that. You don't get to choose, basically. Uh -huh. No, and then the next one, let's set this back to, yes. Uh, this is a great command center when you're trying to provide a better navigation experience when people are searching by keyword on your site. So I think this was a good topic to cover today. Yeah, because keywords is the most popular one. So um, the details one, this controls whether member names are seen if they're, for example, a business. I have one example. For example, here. Um, this is a company, but when I'm filling out the contact details form, I'm including in my personal information. Um, but you don't want to include this and it's showing and you don't know how to take it off. That's what we have the details. If you set this to no, it'll hide all the personal information from the business listings. So that way you can keep the members' privacy, you can know who you're dealing with without having to show that to the general public. Yeah, again, depending on your site's goals, you, you, you have the control there to make it as simple or you can add additional metadata if you need to. Okay, now it's gone. Yeah, I definitely Maybe. think less is more here. Mm -hmm. And then it's, it's the same thing for all of these other ones. You know, for example, the categories, you know, let's enable photos for the categories. I think it looks nice when those are enabled. Now, this would be if you uploaded images to the categories in the in the member categories page in the admin, right? Correct, yes. And then I can show you guys real quickly where we can pick these nabs so that they can display. See, and it's important to keep that in mind because I was just it just happened to me. Um, as you notice, it was only showing the profiles, even though I had the subcategories and the top categories enabled. But the system was taking into account that I had a limit of five profiles here and a maximum auto suggest limit of five. So those settings were the ones wow. that were exactly. So you, you just kind of have to be sure that um, the maximum auto suggest limit is larger than the limits within each of the. Um, the little boxes for the features. Yeah, they all add up. Exactly. Let's see here. All right. Notice the, they're now showing for all of That's fantastic. I think one more tip to show here is right now you see how it's showing profiles, main categories, and subcategories. I think if you wanted to, Sherilyn, you can show them that you can drag the order. Um, you can actually move those boxes when you're editing to show, uh, to decide what order you want them to show in the auto suggest. So if you move the subcategory uh, box and dragged it into the first position as an example and save the changes. It kind of works like the toolbox, I mean the, um, the sidebar manager. In a way. Adding side exactly. So you just kind of drag items around. Exactly. So if you wanted to move it even in front of the enable listings, you'll see the categories or put the listings at the end and then save your changes. Uh, you can actually control what the order is of the items that are being auto-suggested. 
And this makes it easier, you know, so you don't have to keep scrolling all the way down and back up. If you're using different ones, you just have them all. Let's see. Main Perfect. categories first, sub and profile. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, guys, for showing this. I know it's like super high value. It's just, it's a small thing, but it's a ni really nice touch to uh, add to your site and um, add the nuances you need to make your site complete using that auto suggest. Yeah, thank you very much, Sherilyn. That was super useful. And uh, thank you, Jason, for the time. Man. Awesome. And thank you, everyone. <laughs> Absolutely, guys. Thank you.